Hello children. So let's jump into to learn the position of adverbs now. Seriously, this is the topic, but there are so many rules. But if you are going to follow some of the important ro- rules, you will not get into, you know, the wrong, you will not write the adverb wrong in a sentence. These are some basic rules, otherwise there are so, so, so many, many rules. But with these uses, these rules at least, if the rules are clear, you know, you are going to, you are not going to make the common mistakes, usually the, you know, the people they are making. So let's start learning the position of adverbs. So before starting all the rules, I'll try my best to make it simple for you so that you understand. See, but a position of adverbs, position of adverbs, that could be in the beginning of a sentence, in the middle, mid or in the end. You got it in the beginning, in the middle or at the end. So position of adverbs. Generally, position of adverbs, an adverb should be placed as near as possible to the word it qualifies. This is the main thing. In general, an adverb should be placed as near as possible to the word it qualifies. Let me explain you with this example. This is really very, very interesting. You will come to know the beginning position, the middle position and at the end. See this one. Only I saw his book. Only I saw his book. You know, qualifying the nearest. Only I saw. No one else. Only I saw his position. His book, sorry. So no one else. I only saw his book. You know, I only saw his book. I didn't touch it. Keep in mind. Here only I saw I focusing. The word it qualifies. Only I. It means no one else. The same thing only if you are going to put in the same sentence. If you are going to change the position. See how the meaning could be changed with the position of the adverbs. So here only I saw his book. Only I. No one else. I only saw his book. I only saw before, placed as near, saw only, I didn't touch it, you got it, I saw only his book, I saw only his book and nobody else, you got, I didn't see anyone else book, I just saw, I saw only his book, this this is the meaning of this one, I saw his book only means I didn't uh, not even the pen or pencil or anything else I saw his book only you see see the meaning could be changed with this type of a sentence very very interesting isn't it so let's start learning the rules of writing the adverbs correctly in a sentence in general these are the basic rules but these are going to help you you know to avoid the common mistakes which generally the people they are making so let's see some rules i wish and i want you to write so please start you know you can pause the video and you can write this is really going to help you to improve your english so this thing some rules before an adjective or another adverb yes before an adjective see she is very beautiful adverbs could be placed here before an adjective or another adverb she is very beautiful circle word is adverb beautiful is adjective so this is placed before an adjective or it could be placed before another adverb so this is some of the rules he plays quite well you got then the next rule after an intransitive verb so at verbs are placed after the intransitive verb and intransitive verbs are those verbs which do not require any object to make a complete sense so the bell rang when you're getting you remember when you're getting the answers for other than what or who like how when where those verbs are intransitive verbs so the bell rang loudly so in case of intransitive verb it is placed at the end 
in the first one before an adjective some rules are there adverbs are placed before an adjective or another adverb second rule after an intransitive verb it could not be like this the bell loudly rang no wrong after the intransitive verb after the object of the transitive verb see these are the transitive verbs met is transitive drove is transitive why because these verbs they require an object and you know that if you want to find out the object there are two questions you have to ask what or who when you get the answer like we met who him so this is the object so adverbs are placed after the object he drove what the car so car is the object drove is the transitive verb then so adverbs are placed after the object you got it because you know in case of transitive verbs they love, they love their objects keep in mind they want their objects to be nearer to them and adverbs little far so keep in mind this way you got then we have between the auxiliary means helping verb and the principal verb like see auxiliary is the helping verb here am this is the adverb i am never late for office so this is the position of the adverb between the auxiliary helping verb and the principal the main verb you got so this way if in a sentence there is the helping verb and the main verb so that adverb could be placed here in between you got these are the rules basic rules with which you can put the adverbs correctly in the right position in a sentence i'm going to repeat once again because this is really very very important then we have adverbs of frequency like always often seldom sometimes almost some other like almost already hardly just etc they are put between the subject and the verb like in this example see we usually adverbs of frequency keep in mind frequency how often when you're getting the answer how often always often seldom sometimes for frequency just go through that you know the lesson where you have learnt about adverbs of frequency you can even see that video once again adverb of frequency you get it when you get the answer for how often so these adverbs of frequency uh, the examples you can put between the subject and the verb we usually have breakfast at 7 he always acts foolishly so this is between so that is why i put star so that you can understand subject and the verb and in between adverb of frequency then if a verb is am is are was were all the verbs the b form of verbs b form of verb means is am are was were they are placed after that verb like you are never late helping verb will come first then and then the adverb you are never late for the school you got then beta in the beginning when they modify the whole sentence when they tell something about whole sentence they are placed in the beginning luckily he he escaped he, he escaped this accident so this is modifying this whole part of a sentence so they are placed in the beginning so let me go through once again because this these are the general rules you know from the book we are going to learn more but this is something step by step when you are going to learn very easily you'll find out the position of adverbs so position of adverbs we have learned we should adverb should be placed as near as possible to the word it qualifies the way i have given you this example this is really very very interesting example just read it again and again and you'll find it so interesting then we read about the position of the adverbs with some general rules which are going to help you to know not get involved in all those wrong mis- wrong sentences you know common mistakes which we are really doing if you are not going through these rules if you are not able to understand so please try to understand and then try to apply before an adjective or another adverb so adverbs are placed before an adjective or another adverb then after an intransitive verb then after the object of the transitive verb as i told you because transitive verbs they really like their objects so they want their objects to be very near to them then the adverb then we have between the auxiliary and the principal verb auxiliary means helping verbs and then before the main verb 
Then the next rule, adverbs of frequency. Just wait. Yes. Adverb of frequency like always, often, seldom, sometimes. And the other one, almost, already, hardly, just. They are placed between the subject and the verb. We usually have breakfast at 7. He always acts foolishly. So this way. How often? Usually. How often? Always. So if there are the B form of verbs like is, am, are, was, were, they are placed after the B form of verbs. You are never late like that. It's not like you never are late. No, that is wrong. After the helping verb, this is the only thing you have to see. If this, you are going to use it before like you never are late for the school. Usually the children, they are committing this kind of mistake. You never are late for school. No, wrong. After the helping verb, if there is this type of B form of the verbs, helping verbs, then it's going to be after the helping verb and before the main verb. You got? In the beginning, when they really modified the whole sentence. So, this is, you know, something which is really going to help you to write your sentences correctly and use the adverbs correctly. So, in this video, till here, then we are going to learn from our book. Thank you. God bless you. And always respect your parents and love your great grandparents. Thank you.